All right, guys, so here I have the fiberglass repair kit from Bondo. Um, it comes with a fiberglass mat, a squeegee, the resin, of course, and a hardener. Um, it doesn't come with a little mixing plate. So we're going to have to find something to use for that as well as a paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and run to the dollar store and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back and um, this area is cleaned up. I've already cut the other bracket um, to fit as well for the other side. So now I've got both of them here. To get around the house, I also found this uh, aluminum tray that we can use to uh, mix our resin with a hardener in. So uh, first step is we're going to start cutting the mat to shape. It's best to overlap two to three inches over. But the area that we're working with is pretty tight. So we're just going to do the best that we can and just, um, for example, just cut it to shape um, as wide as we can, just like that. Same way over here, we're gonna go this wide and down that way, okay? So let's go ahead and um, cut our mat up and see what that ends up looking like. All right guys, here's our fiberglass mat cut to shape. Let's go ahead and mix the resin and start laying it down. All right, that looks to me to be about an ounce of resin. Of course, um, make sure you have your gloves on. Uh, the hardener, you're gonna have to poke the bottle with like, they say a pin or a thumbtack. I'm gonna use a nail because that's what we have lying around here in the garage conveniently. And it's gonna be 10 drops. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off cam. All right, so now we got the resin um, brushed on. Now we're gonna press down on um, the mat that we've cut to shape. So let's go ahead and do that. The resin and hardener mixture is activated in 30 minutes, so you need to be quick about laying down your first layer of fiberglass mat and pressing it down firmly against the resin. Make sure to have gloves on for this as it is very sticky. Don't freak out when the fiber hairs seem to fall off easily, that's normal. Make sure to go over the mat with resin again and do as many layers as needed of mat. In this application, I did two layers of mat. Alright guys, 48 hours later and this is what we've got. So you can see rock solid. Here's the other side we did as well. Same thing, I think it's gonna be fine. Usually it would take um, up to 30 minutes for it to get that strong. But since it's sitting out here in the garage, I figure it probably uh, needed a couple days to cure. But this is just to show that if I can do this, this is my first time doing this, you should be able to do this too. Um, just follow the steps that I outlined in this video and you should be golden. Also keep in mind that you can prep this any way you want. Um, you can sand this down, paint over it, but um, in my case it's it's not really going to be visible because it's you know under the under the dash skin so no one's ever going to see that so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Um, I don't want to compromise the structure. Not that sanding it would but just don't want to take any chances because obviously it's part of the dashboard so hope you enjoyed this video if you did give us a like um, leave us a comment on what you think and subscribe if you want to keep up on the build of the mark II. Um, as always fake it till you make it god bless peace